Hello, I haven't spoken to you today. It is actually Tuesday evening. It's past 6.30 and I haven't vlogged really today. I got some clips in the gym that I figured I would start this video out with, but I did not vlog yesterday. I had the day off and Sebastian was here and we it was like just such a lazy day that I didn't really have much to share and I didn't feel like... Actually, this morning I was like running late again because... Y'all, I told you I want to like wake up early and do my shit, but I, I don't know. I'm just, I talked about this in my last vlog, but I'm just, uh, I'm overwhelmed. I just came up from the gym, hence why I'm sweaty and really red, because I actually ran, jogged a mile on the treadmill after doing upper body. And for the last like 30 seconds, I sprinted. And I, I don't know why I do that. I'm just like, do it, do it. And then I do it and I regret it. I don't regret it. It just like hurts, you know, but I guess that's part of getting better. But yeah, it's, it's 6.30, it's Tuesday. So I already filmed Transfer Tuesday, but now I need to shower, make dinner and edit that video and get that up ASAP. And I just, I feel like I have so much to do and I just, yeah, I'm doing this to myself, as I said in my last vlog, and it's gonna get better once things like start happening how I want them to, but right now I just have to go through this, and I'm not like stressed, I mean I'm borderline stressed, but like it's just more, I don't feel like I'm doing enough, I feel like I'm behind, and I think I'll talk about it more when things actually start happening, but I did want to show you something. Let me open the package before I start talking because every time I do, never mind, just let me open it. This first package is just my supplements that I've been waiting for. And Sebastian always gets on to me because I always like am getting packages. But again, I told you guys I ordered these from Amazon because I was trying to look elsewhere and they send in separate packages. So I get multiple, this one all came together, but I did have I had two more supplements that I had ordered and they came separately. Anyways, nine times out of 10, it's supplements or some sort of medication that I'm ordering. Now, I did order two things off of Amazon <laughs> outside of medication. I told you guys I'm trying not to, but this one I also, I could not find outside of Amazon from a trustworthy website. And that is this wake up alarm clock, wake up light alarm clock. And I'm so freaking excited, look at the back. This is what I've been wanting. I should have bought this like, actually I'm glad I, I waited to buy this because in the past I would have bought those like big ball like ones. They're like in the shape of a sun. I don't really like those because I think they're kind of ugly, but this is the same idea, but a lot cuter and classier in my opinion. Plus you can set, oh it's beautiful. Plus you can set a different alarm for the weekend and the weekday. So I'm gonna have to try this out. Wow, it's so cute. I'll have to read the instructions, but just know that this doesn't, I saw some people complain about this on like other alarm clocks. This doesn't come with a wall adapter. Is that what it's called? It's a, just a USB. So you have to, you know, provide your own for the wall, which is no big deal. But yeah, I can link this down below. This gets gradually brighter. I will show y'all when uh, I use it. I woke up on time today with my new alarm clock, 5.30 a.m. I considered hitting snooze because if you just tap the top of it, it will snooze for nine minutes. But I was like, no, let's get up, just hop in the shower. So I think it's best for me to just immediately get into the shower because that's when I usually start waking up. Um, I mean, I will say doing yoga in the morning is really helpful to wake up, but for me, I just need to shower and then maybe I'll get back into my routine eventually, but I'll skip the meditating right after bed because I will fall asleep. But I'm back on my greens and superfoods powder from PE Science. I showed this in my last video. I emailed them because I, I was supposed to get the reds and blues as well, but they did not send that to me. So that's on its way. It's 5.12 p.m. on Wednesday. 
Tomorrow's already Thursday, that's crazy. Uh, I'm about to work out. Wednesdays are my more chill day, as y'all know, so I'm doing a Sydney Cummings workout. I would have gone on a walk and stuff, but like I had stuff to do before, and um, that just wasn't gonna happen. But today was probably the warmest day this week. My apartment's still freezing, but it's fine. I'm just gonna do 30 minutes cardio and abs per usual. Happy Thursday. Um, it's raining outside, but the good news is I woke up on time and I didn't wake up at five, but I been setting my alarm for 5.30, my new alarm. I actually, I don't think I've even like shown it working, but I'll show y'all eventually. Um, and it does like, it's kind of nice. And I did want to go back to sleep, but I looked at it and because I bought it for that purpose of like, I need to wake up on time because I don't feel good when I snooze, I was like, no, just get up, get in the shower. Just get up, get in the shower. And I got up and it's kind of relaxing because I have it set to nature sounds. So it slowly brightens up and then plays nature sounds at 5.30. <laughs> so it's like birds chirping and such, which I like. If you're a heavy sleeper, you probably wouldn't wake up from it. I'm a pretty light sleeper, and today I noticed that I like, was kind of ignoring it initially because it just sounded a little bit natural. So I think I might need to turn the volume up because I woke up actually at like 5.32. That's when I looked at my alarm anyway. But I like it. It's quite peaceful to wake up to birds chirping and a fake little sunshine. Let me show you my outfit. I don't know why, I just, I love when I get to be comfy. <laughs> Today's gonna be a pretty long day at work, um, so just a chunky sweater. And I got this for Christmas last year, actually, and then I'm, I decided to wear my Steve Madden Miles in gray flannel, and then my Hollister jeans. I do wear, like, the same clothes every week, I just change up, the same pants every week. I just change up the days, change up the tops, and that's that. Today's gonna be a very busy day overall because it's a longer run at work and hopefully I can make it home by four because I have a client call at four. But if not, I'm bringing my laptop in case I need to take the client call while I'm still in the office. And then I'll need to gym and I have a client call at 8 p.m. as well. So gotta squeeze everything in. I have a lot to do otherwise. It is so cold. One of my clients rescheduled for tomorrow. So it is five o'clock now, it's 5.05, .05 and I'm gonna just go down to the gym. I still have my client call tonight at eight. I also have to do my hum Humera injection. Um, I almost like keep forgetting about it, so I gotta make sure I do that. <laughs> it might, I have an app that does remind me anyway, but still, I have to like keep it out of the fridge for a little bit. I'm gonna be training quads today, and I'll probably walk on the treadmill. I wanted to take a walk today, but it's been raining for the bulk of the day, and it's just really cold out, so I didn't go for a walk. Y'all, I have more packages. <laughs> no, but this is just what I was supposed to get from PE Science. Oh, hell yeah, they put a lot of samples. So the other day, my last vlog when I opened the box, they didn't, I ordered this, but they didn't send it to me. So I got the reds and blues. I'm gonna try this in the morning separately from the greens, but probably what I'm going to do is mix them together. I heard this one tastes pretty good as well. There's a lot of um, fruits in here. Y'all can see that. I didn't even realize they had this, so that was exciting. Let's see what samples I got. When I ordered my alarm clock, I also ordered something for my desk because I've been needing this since, it's just something I never purchased since 2019, and that is a mouse pad. 
my I literally just use my Mac mouse on the desk and it makes this awful noise. So I finally got one. It was like five bucks, six bucks, five ninety nine. I can link it down below. It's a moon, as you can tell. And then this was sent to me by the company, which I'll have to try it out and give y'all feedback. Let me open it first. So the company is Routine Complete Probiotics. 30 delayed release vegan probiotic capsules for her. Comes in a pouch. There's 30 in here. Feels like less. Oh, okay, I see what this is. And then when you open it, it comes... Okay, I see what's happening. It's like a little bottle. It's empty, a glass bottle that we would reuse. And then this is gonna be another 30 days. Routine is a complete pro prebiotic and probiotic supplement containing the most essential strains in optimal quantities to make you feel holistically better. Fill this reusable container every month with the content of the pouch. Okay, and then every month they send you this. Cool, I'll link it down below. I'll have to let you guys know how it is because obviously I need to try it first. Let's go ahead and dump these in. That's really cute. So I guess every month they would send you just this little pouch so you can keep filling up your jar. Nice. Should I put this in there? Probably. Cute. Now it's like the app. Y'all, I am still on these little tacos because they are just the best thing ever. I'm probably gonna make these even next week because I just, I cannot get enough. The flavor, everything about it is phenomenal. Mm. Squeeze some extra lime juice on there. It's, it makes my night every single night. All right, y'all are gonna be with me for my injection. I don't like doing this. It really sucks. I already feel the pain. I already feel the pain. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No leakage. Yellow thing came through. Bye. I really just kind of like somebody to talk to while I need this. Granted, I could call Sebastian, but it's like, I am about to go to bed, so like, I don't wanna, I don't know. So thanks for being here. I can't believe I do this, you know? Like, I just never in a million years thought that, yeah. I, I still like, get upset that I have this. And it's not fun. Like, I'm, I'm so grateful that I've been feeling much better. Like, you guys have no freaking clue. Like, it's like night and day, the difference. But it just, I don't want to be on this medication. And, um, I don't know. Somebody has been commenting on my video. They know who they are. They also have Crohn's. And he or she, I think it's a she, mentioned, like, Dane... Johnson and Jordan Rubin I think his name is and like I was listening to a couple of podcasts with Dane Johnson and he like he's off of medication he avoided surgery he did he's doing this all natural he's like some holistic practice I don't know what he he's not a doctor but like I want to do that but it's so scary too because when you have Crohn's from my understanding like you can if you're off of medication you can potentially be fine for some time, but then it can come back with like a vengeance. I've heard and I've read so many stories of this and I know that may not be the best idea, but like I also have to be realistic because no, I don't wanna be on this medication for years or for the rest of my life or any medication, but I'm so scared to stop it because what if everything comes back? What if I, mm -hmm. for, first of all, my like abscess, fistula situation, that is the main reason I'm on this because I want that to be healed. It's like horrible. That's the worst part of all of this, to be honest. And I'm very afraid of that coming back because truly you do not want to have two surgeries on your asshole. I definitely don't want more. Like two is enough. Two is enough for everybody's lifetime in the world. So 
<sighs> yeah, I just am so scared of that. I don't want any surgery on my intestines or anything like that. So I don't want to stop it and for things to get worse or for my body to reject some other sort of medication because this is working for me and I'm very lucky to have the first medication that I go on work for me because that's also pretty rare. But at the same time, I know that my Crohn's disease is somewhat mild, but it's also not because I had those, the abscess and I had so many ulcers in my intestines. Um, so I don't, I don't really know what scale it's on. Like I don't have very intense symptoms, but I have had pretty severe problems. Um, you know, when it comes to my digestive system. So it's just confusing. It's a lot to take in and it's hard to make a decision because you think that you can make a decision for yourself, but you don't know the right one because there's no way in determining that. And I also, it sounds like this guy, I'll stop talking in a minute, I'm so sorry, but this guy, it sounds like he is like 100% gluten-free, doesn't have a cheat meal, he like eats to live and works out to be 100% healthy and like that's just not me. I want a donut here and there. I want gluten here and there. Like if I go and get pizza and like I'm already vegan so that's by choice of course but if I were to go completely gluten free, no processed foods, all this stuff, like I'm down to very few foods, very few restaurants. I enjoy food so much that it's not something that I want to give up. And so for something like this medication to allow me to occasionally have a donut or coffee or just anything that I really enjoy that does bring joy to my life, I want that. So I don't know if that's what he does, I'm pretty sure. And I just, I don't know, maybe when I'm older I'll get to that point, but right now that's not what I want. But I'll shut up now, I need to go to bed. Thanks for being here while I did my fourth Humira injection. Good morning, it's Friday. Okay, y'all have seen me drink my greens before. I'm gonna drink these real quick. They taste great on their own. Uh, I prefer them with ice, but I get too cold. Now, I'm gonna try the reds. I don't like the smell of this. God, what does it smell like? I don't know, it's kinda like old frozen strawberries or something, that's what it smells like. But I've heard this tastes good too. And then in the future I'm probably just gonna mix them, but I wanted to try it on its own. You honestly don't even need one of these little frothers, you could just use a spoon. I don't like the smell of this. Oh, it's not bad. It's not very sweet or anything, just like a muted juice flavor. Easy. I think I'm getting a strong cranberry taste from that, but I, I don't know. It's good, I like it. I'll have those linked down below, or I'll have my PE Science link down below because if you guys use that, you get $10 off of 30. Um, everybody gets that. I'm not like partnered with them or affiliated with them, but as a customer, they offer a refer referral program. Guys, I feel like I'm always vlogging here and I really need to get like more creative, but I'm sorry, this is just life, you know? I just got my mail. Oh, I went, I just went to the gym and it was like a quick 40 minute workout or so, upper body. I got a check for $7.30 from my renter's insurance because I switched. I don't know if I talked about it here, but I was paying $13.83 a month with State Farm, but I bundled now with my car insurance with Geico and I'm paying like $7 a month now. But I already paid it in full, it was $80. $82 for the year or something along those lines. Anyways, I haven't talked much because I've been, I've had a very busy afternoon. I did have a call and then a client call. So not two client calls, a call and then a client call. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. But something that happened earlier is I was eating my bar, my Go Macro bar and that one was pretty chewy and I remember toward the end of it, 
I felt like a crunch and I thought, I thought it was part of like the little pieces in the Go Macro bar and it was my tooth. So part of my crown, I have a crown that I had a root canal on and like one fourth of it fell off. I swallowed it, chewed it actually, and then swallowed it because I thought it was part of my food. And then I could tell instantly that something was off because like once your tooth is messed up, you'll feel that. Very bad tooth, like a fourth of it is chunked out. So I called my, my cousin. She works at my cousin aunt. She's my cousin, but like I've always seen her as my aunt or something. But she is my dental hygienist that I always go to. And then her son, my cousin as well, he is in dental school, so he just called me and was like, you should be fine, just go to a dentist and get it replaced. But I'm just frustrated because I can't, I can't catch a freaking break when it comes to my health and like, I feel like I'm not doing anything wrong here. Like, what am I doing wrong? I'm just chilling, minding my business, eating my food. I take care of my teeth, but I have really bad enamel. That root canal is a few years old. A crown shouldn't break that soon. I wasn't chewing anything hard this is gonna cost me at least i'm expecting 600 assuming insurance covers it but i just found out that if i go to a different dentist who then who did my crown if it's less than five years old they're probably not going to cover it like that's going to cost me i don't know 1300 dollars which is it's upsetting so i got a seven dollar and 30 cent check though when I left work, I was just in such a bad mood. I was like, Sebastian had called me and I just like vented to him because I was in such a negative headspace. Just, I don't know. I got to snap out of that. I'm fine now and I'm uploading a video currently. It's late, but I need to eat dinner, shower. I'm going to watch Ozark. Yeah, let me just go shower. Hi y'all. My throat hurts from talking for 30 minutes straight. I'm gonna go for a jog. It's already late in the day, it's already 11. But I am gonna go for a jog just a mile outside. It's pretty cold out, what's the temperature? I was just filming a video for this channel of like my fitness goals that will be up before this video actually. It is 37 degrees, it's pretty cloudy out, but I need to go on my jog. I don't feel like going down to the treadmill. I bet you there's people there. So I'm gonna go outside. Then I need to like get my shit together and start packing and <laughs> go to Sebastian's house. I just stopped by the little free library at the park, picked up this book last summer at the Golden Hotel. It had good reviews. I'm about to leave. I have to go to my mom's house first to feed her cats. And then I'm gonna go to Sebastian's. We're going to my dad's for dinner tonight. And uh, I wanted to, before I go, I wanted to say I finished Layla last night. And this took a couple of turns. So there were like two twists in it that I didn't expect. And it ended up actually being a pretty good book. It is a paranormal romance in a sense, but like by the end of it, it all makes sense. And um, yeah, I wasn't expecting what this was, but I do suggest it. And when did I start reading this book? I think I started on Saturday night. So it, it was less than a week that I finished this. I am like killing the book game. I've already read so many. Um, I'm gonna be ordering some nonfiction books like Don Miguel Ruiz books. I have the four agreements, but I'm gonna get the fifth agreement, the mastery of self. And then there was one on happiness, but not by him, somebody else. Um, I have a $25 pending gift card from Fetch, the app Fetch that I use. So I'm gonna use that to purchase those three books used so I don't have to use my own money. Oh, dude, that's my room. Oh my God. I'm here and I'm singing. Babe, do you know how much I have to edit out because of you? <laughs> I'm not gonna bring y'all to my dad's just cause it's like, it's just hard to bring the camera and I probably won't even film with it. So I'll film on my phone, if anything. Speaking of, let me bring my charger. I'm bringing an exciting snacky for tonight. Snacky with our chai. What? Y'all, I honestly completely forgot to film at my dad's house, but now 
Sebastian's car is broken down. So here we are. It like it said that there was low coolant and then it just went to red and then he couldn't accelerate anymore. Um, it was making a weird noise. So it's freaking freezing in here. <laughs> and I don't know what's happening. This sucks. So <laughs> his um his dad came out. He thought it was the coolant or like I don't I don't know. The coolant was full. So I'm like something's wrong. Something's wrong and Sebastian's like, "Why are you being so negative?" <laughs> and it just broke down again. We filled it up, even though it was already full, and it broke down again. Alright, I haven't picked up the camera today. I, yeah, I just, it was one of those weeks again, where my vlogging skills are just... Are not there. Maybe I need to just take a break or something. I might not vlog every day this coming week. Maybe I'll do like a day in the life or something. I don't know because I'm going to be filming all of my workouts. I was at Sebastian's as I said as y'all know and today we I was talking to his dad like we were all talking downstairs myself Sebastian and his dad for quite some time and then um, we watched the movie Soul Surfer about um, the surfer Bethany, is her name Bethany? I think that's right. The one who her, a shark bit her arm off. That was a good movie. Then we walked to Marshall's and actually we both picked up new pillows and I also got satin pillowcases for them. So here's one. There's one behind me. These are pretty good. So hopefully they're from Ralph Lauren and hopefully the pillow is Ralph Lauren. Is it Ralph Lauren? I don't know. I say Ralph Lauren, but there's, they're decent. And the pillowcase apparently is supposed to help with wrinkles and your hair, blah, blah, blah. But they were like eight bucks at Marshall's. They feel good. So we'll see. And hopefully I have less neck pain because that's been a problem of mine because I think it's my pillows. I, as I told y'all, I finished that book. So I'm on to Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. Um... I'm assuming this is going to be similar to her other books. <laughs> yeah, just going to start the week over again. Got to go to work probably every day this week. Maybe not Friday, but I'm not sure. And I'm trying to see if, um, I don't know, I need to get my crown fixed for my tooth. So that might happen tomorrow. I hope it's tomorrow because that's really the only day that I'm available. And otherwise, I'll just have to wait until next week, I suppose. But just wanted to hop on to share my pillows and my the book that I'm starting. So I'm going to end the video here. Sorry that there wasn't much entertainment going on in this vlog again. But I, you know, in the shower I was thinking about my videos. And really I, I honestly at this point just do them for myself. Because I like to see, I like to look back sometimes on my life. And it's really cool to have... A video from every single week of your year to look back on and I just like to have the memories of it like even I get to see Haley my dog who's no longer here and even Tango my cat I comment down below if you've been watching since Tango but um, yeah it, it's just it's nice to have the memories of that and that's kind of what this whole thing is and even like documenting my health I get to see all of that and the changes that I have been going through throughout my life. But I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.